guys this is Ziggs how is it going now today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial video a how to whatever you want to call it on how to make an awesome thumbnail for your YouTube videos guys this is the method that I use and uh, it doesn't include Photoshop or anything so basically you're gonna need two sites up that is gonna be Google images and the other is gonna be pixlr.com uh, just go to Google and then click on images to get to Google images pretty simple don't know why I said that but oh well and then pixlr.com pixlr.com and then you have to scroll down on there and click on the Pixel Editor uh, launch web app button. Now we're going to go back to Google Images and get our background that we're going to be editing our content on. What you want to type in is radial gradient background. Um, now you could do radial stripe background as well, which I which uh, I will show you how to do as well. And that's the one that I am going to be using, seeing as I already have my background. Now, basically, you just take away. Um, gradient and type in stripes and then it comes up with all of these uh, that green one at the top right there is pretty good and uh, right here I'm just trying to find the one that I have but for some reason I can't find it but we're just gonna be using it anyway so pretty much you just find it you save it image as and then you open that image uh, and that's what I'm gonna do I have it over here in my uh, my thumbnails folder over at template now what you want to do is you want to click over to image and uh, then image size and mine is already on um, on 1280 by 720 uh, and that's what you want to have it on uh, because that is the correct size for a thumbnail basically you want to also unclick um, constraint properties uh, so 1280 width and 720 height that is guys alright now we're gonna start adding our text so what you want to do is just uh, just type in whatever and then uh, and then try and uh, try and find a font you like pretty much make it the biggest size possible and be sure to make the text color white as it makes it much easier to edit I'm just gonna place it up to the top right here and uh, then what you wanna do is right click on the layer at the right side right here and you wanna click on rasterize layer as this uh, allows us to edit the text um, in much more detail then you want to click on the little magic wand tool on the left uh, make sure you have both of the boxes ticked and you want to uh, well boost up the tolerance to around 150 can be a bit more or you know a bit less I don't know and then you select everything using shift and then just click on everything uh, holding down shift that is then you click on the little gradient thing and you can make your ingredients right here um, I usually make one uh, that has a color on the edge and then it goes into a lighter color on the middle and then it goes back to the same color uh, that it started with on the outside I think we're gonna go with a sort of um, sort of ready pinky I don't know yeah uh, might as well YOLO you know if you know what I mean but uh, yeah so we're, we're just gonna move this to the middle right here and I'll show you a trick to uh, to finding the exact same color that you used before and not having to uh, to try and spend ages pretty much on on getting the getting the right color back so basically you, you just you just move your mouse over to that color and you click on it and then boom boom plap basically you wanna drag this down uh, from the top to the bottom of the letters and uh, make sure it's a straight line otherwise it it just will look slanted and quite annoying pretty much uh, and then we're gonna click on this little spark thing right here ultra glow we're gonna make it white to make it stand out hardness we're gonna increase that to 10 and then increase the size as well a bit we're gonna add a bevel to make it look 3d and a bit of a drop shadow as well so I'm just gonna put in my second t text right here once I uh, once I resize this you can do this by going on edit and free transform um, and you just move around to uh, whatever size you want so as I said I'm gonna uh, finish off the other text that I'm gonna be using now and th this is just me editing it finally it is gonna say thumbnails and it's basically just gonna say how to thumbnails alright once again drop shadow and bevel very nice indeed and another way to make um, resizing easier and better looking is by holding now shift when you do this uh, this keeps the uh, the proportions of the size of the text um, the same so you don't have to sort of bend it up and down and uh, left and right and it's just easier to drag it diagonally now once we're back on Google images we want to look for PNG images and I'm just gonna 
uh, take this tick right here. The PNG images are the, uh, the the images with the sort of you know checkered background, and uh, you may not be able to see on the video right here. You probably won't. But yeah, basically, if I if it has a checkered background, then it's PNG and you can use it. And here we go. There's a tick, and I have an idea on what I'm gonna do. So I'm uh, gonna resize it right here, edit it a bit, and then I shall uh, duplicate it a few times to uh, t to put it spread out across the thumbnail. And that is gonna be the de design. Sorry, for the thumbnail pretty much i'm just finishing off here guys uh so i hope you guys enjoyed pretty much and uh yeah be sure to check out the other ton content i might be doing some other tutorials in a later date and uh oh yeah basically by the way guys if you want to save it you want to go to the file and then save make sure you select the png as the format as it uh makes it automatically full quality and uh, yeah, and then just save it wherever you want. That's pretty much it for this, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Once again, check out my other videos. Like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and peace.